it's winter, but the train's warm, and we hope people can come and just enjoy a relaxing hour. Love is in the air, or is it just steam? The Nickel Plate Express Valentine's Day themed rides are back this year after having been canceled last year due to COVID. You will have to still wear a mask between sips of mimosa, but event organizers say having the train back is a great sign for Hoosiers, hoping for a full steam ahead fun. Fox 59 reporter Justin Kolart joins us in the newsroom with more details on the Cupid themed cross county excursions. Good morning. Hey, all aboard. If you don't have plans for Valentine's Day weekend, you can thank us later. This weekend, the Nickel Plate Express in Noblesville will take off on its Valentine's Day themed rides throughout Hamilton County. And lucky for you, there's still tickets available. The Valentine's Express is geared towards adult couples and families. Adult rides will feature mimosas and snacks, while family rides will have events more catered towards the little cupids in your life. Nickel Plate Express volunteers say the train attracts a wide group of passengers. It's part of the reason they are so happy, even enthralled, to have it back this year. One of the great things about the Nickel Plate Express is the intergenerational aspect of it. Um, when we say family rides, we often see grandparents, parents, little kids. Um, we see all sorts of people from all over central Indiana. But you look out over that western landscape and you see those farm fields and you can really see the sunset and it's absolutely beautiful the snow it's one of my favorite seasons actually to ride on the nickel plate express sounds romantic excursions depart at 1 3 and 5 p.m this upcoming saturday and sunday both family and adult rides will leave at the same time just seated in different cars and they'll board 15 minutes before departure now that cost is $28 for those family rides. Kiddos three and under are free. Adult rides will cost you $47. Drinks and snacks are included, and those trips last just over an hour. Though the train is back this year, we're still living in a pandemic, and the Federal Transportation Authority is requiring passengers to wear a mask while boarding and departing the train, which we'll show you in later hours of the show, so be sure to stay tuned. In the newsroom, I'm Justin Kolar.